Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Bryce with Susquehanna Valley High School here in Conklin, New York, and this is just a refresher of everything that we've learned. Let's take a look. The beginning says, given the value of the following expression. So give the value. Numerical answer, it's an expression, not an equation, right? Expression, not an equation. Find the numerical value. M dash, parentheses, none. Exponent, none. Multiplication and division, none. Addition and subtraction from left to right, addition, 13 minus 8 plus 2 from left to right. Then we do 13 minus 8, 5 plus 2 is 7. Now listen, it just says give the value of the following expression. I know that we can't do all of these, you know, everything in our head right away, but you can certainly do 9 plus 4 is 13, minus 8 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Bingo. Got it. This is, you know, like showing your work. Great job. Okay. Parentheses, none. Exponents, yes. 7 squared is 49. 4 squared is 16. Multiplication and division from left to right, none. Addition and subtraction from left to right, yes, 49 minus 16 is 33. Make sure if you have any questions, just ask. So here is a little tricky one. 8 plus 10, remember, you have to find the answer to the top because, because fraction bar is hidden parentheses. So that's 18 divided by 2, 18 divided by 2, is nine. There are no exponents. There is addition and subtraction hidden with inside the parentheses hidden there, I already said. Okay. I'm going to go through this fast. Remember, this is a review. Explain the order of operations for evaluating this. Five minus three x squared. What do you do first? Explain, write in words, the order. There are no parentheses. So you do the exponent, then you do three times, or you can just write times. Then you do five minus the answer. So in other words, we have to do the x squared, the exponent, then you do three times whatever that was, and then you do 5 minus whatever that was, okay? Now evaluate it when x equals 3. 5 minus 3 times 3. There's that 3 right there. That's where I got that from. I guess I shouldn't use 3 as an example. I should use when x is 7. Anyway, you do the 3 squared first. That's what you wrote down. This 3 squared is 9. Then you do 3 times 3. 5 minus 27. Five minus 27 is negative 22. Evaluate this one when x equals negative four. You put a negative four in there. I wonder why I said negative four. I know exactly why I said negative four. Because remember, when you have a negative number, always put it in parentheses. The exponent goes outside. That's outside. plus 8, all over 8. Um, you can show the steps. What I want is I want a proper evaluation. The more steps you show, the more partial work you can get. 3 times 16 plus 8, all over 8. 48 plus 8, all over 8. 56 over 8 is 7. Make sure if you have any questions, ask me in class. Next problem. Input the following two expressions into your calculator and explain why they have different answers. Please don't tell me that they have the same answer when the problem itself says explain why they have two different answers. Negative 9 squared. You see the keys turn red, hit equals, and we have negative 81. Write it down. Negative, negative. 81. 
Then, the other one, don't clear the calculator. Parenthesis, negative 9, close parenthesis. Then the square equals positive 81. Explain why they have two different answers. The parentheses around negative 9 make the exponent square the whole thing. In other words, the negative. Without parentheses, you square then make answer negative. That's a long answer, but it's a perfect one. What lets us change 2 plus 3x into 3x plus 2? Why can we commute addition? Oh, no, it doesn't say why we can commute addition. It's the commutative property of addition. Combine like terms. You can do it any way you like, but I like. There's no distribution to do. Just add and subtract them. Then what do we do? We do the 5x minus the 9x, and then we do the 27. So 6x squared plus 14x squared is 20x squared. Then we have 5x minus 9x is negative 4x. You can use your calculator with this. And then it says minus 27 if you have to. Combine like terms on this one. Okay, now we have to distribute. Remember, you've got to distribute all the way through. It's 16x. Then you have to do the plus 24. 5 times 4x squared is 20x squared. 5 times 7x is 35x. We're not done. We have to combine the 16x and the 35x. Then we've got to combine the 24 and the there is nothing to combine with a 20x squared. <laughs> There's nothing to combine with a 24. They're alone. So 16x and 35x is 51x. Then you can put the 20x squared, then the 24. I'm going to put the 20x squared in front because it is a higher exponent. The 51x was positive, and then plus 24. Just making sure, yes, that is it. That is the final answer. Last one, combine like terms. 10x minus 5, negative 8x, yep, negative 6, no squares. Just making sure I'm doing everything right. 10x minus 8x is positive 2x. Negative 5 minus 6 is negative 11. Great. That's it. See you tomorrow.